Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here for another review. This is my second review of tonight and the second of my, what I assume to be my two-part series of removing malware that it's currently on the system. Now, if you have not watched my previous video with Super Anti-Spyware, I would suggest that you watch the introduction of that to kind of get an idea of where this review is going. But getting right down to it, this is the exact same virtual machine this is the exact same configuration of my virtual machine that I conducted the super anti-spyware test in. So all the files, all the processes that were malicious should be the same in this review as in the previous review. So it should be very fair results between the two products. This does not really intend to be a comparison video. I'm just trying to see how Malwarebytes removes infected objects on a heavily infected computer. This is more of a subjective test than an objective test because it really depends on how you feel it removed the threats. There are a lot of threats on this computer. Just let me tell you that from the scans I already ran in the last review. But it's really about how well the system operates after the malware cleaning. And also you have to keep in mind that there are plenty of free scanners that you can run. So even if malware bytes detects a majority of the threats doesn't mean you have to stop a malwarebytes if you're on a real computer. I would highly recommend running secondary or third opinion scanners as well. I'm just trying to see which anti-malware applications and programs are the most effective at removing malware, ideally the quickest. I would like to think people would want to remove malware as soon as possible off their computers, so that is the purpose of this type of review. The same conditions that were present in the beginning of the last review are the same in this review, such as Task Manager was disabled in normal Windows operating mode, Windows Firewall kept being turned off, and there were a lot of programs in MS Config that were starting up when the computer started up that definitely were not on the computer before I installed all this malware on it. So yes, this machine is heavily infected. Now, I didn't go to the extremes of downloading ransomware or any really difficult malware because I feel I would have taken away from the overall meaning of the video, and it would have been more of a video of removing that piece of ransomware than actually cleaning all the other threats on the computer. And like in the previous video, I have a bunch of different types of malware. I have some adware, potential one of programs, viruses, and that kind of thing. So again, if you haven't already seen my anti, super anti-spyware review, I would highly suggest that you at least watch the beginning part of it to see where we are going with this review. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a full scan of the computer so that we can effectively clean the computer to the best of Malwarebytes ability, just as we did with super anti-spyware, how I ran a full computer scan. Under custom scanning options, it's set to scan memory objects, startup and registry settings, and archives. Now it's not set to scan for rootkits by default, and for potentially unwanted programs and unwanted modifications, it's set to treat detections as malware. So that is very good to see. I'm very glad they are treating them as malware and not just ignoring the detections, or I mean, I guess they could warn the user about detections, but definitely I have no problem treating the detections as malware. So I'm happy about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this custom scan of the computer. I'm going to update the software. And once the scan is done, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. Malwarebytes detected 207 items and it found 879 non-malware items. You see that it found a lot, of, pretty much all the same stuff that it found last time we ran the scan in the super anti-spyware test. Trojan, fake, Google, backdoor agent, stolen data. So we have several files and then we have someone on, on the malware pack that I removed and I already deleted in the recycling bin. But nonetheless, we're going to quarantine all these files. And once they're all quarantined, I'm going to delete them. And then I'm gonna restart the computer. And then in the normal Windows operating mode, I will run some more scans to see what is left behind. And I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. 
I'm sorry it took a little while. I reran the scheme of Marabytes. It appeared that it did not delete all the files that were in quarantine. I'm not sure if it was a mistake on my end, which it most likely was, but I deleted all the items that it found. Starting with ESET's online scanner, I forgot to mention this in the Super Anti Spyro review, but I ran into this unexpected error, so that's why I didn't show the scan results. I think I looked it up and had something to do when it was updating definitions that it ran into this error. I figure once I reset the virtual machine, that'll probably resolve that issue. But in its place, I didn't run a scan with Komodo Cleaning Essentials. But first, let's look at Hitman Pro. Now we see we have the System Manager, WXE, and Windows. And if we open up Process Explorer here, Actually, I don't think it's the same one. We'll go back to that in a second. But found a couple things in the C drive, s.com, smart bar. And then we have some cookies, tracking cookies right down here. No big deal. Uh, but we have these right now running on the system. And like I was saying, I saw. I thought I saw it earlier in their scan results. I guess it was right here, this back door, Galaxy. It has a detection rate of 58 out of 55 on virus total. I actually went on to virus total just to see which engines detected it. And if we look at all the engines that detect this file, we see Malwarebytes is among the ones that do not. And surprisingly, Super Antispiro is also one of the few that do not detect it. So I found that to be kind of interesting. And the file wasn't new, it looked like it was about a month old. So, and if we look at Komodo Cleaning Essentials, I said I did run a scan with that. If we view the threat that found, we see that backdoor Win32. We see this is the one that was detected on virus total. It appears we have another one that Komodo Cleaning Essentials is detecting. You do have to keep in mind that Komodo Cleaning Essentials, like Norn Power Racer, can be kind of aggressive with its scan results. So some of these might not actually be malware, but I have a tendency to believe that most, if not all of them, are. We have this look like potential wanted program there, and then we have some abnormal system settings. This was done on purpose, the user account control is disabled. Looks like our host files are modified and the Windows login has been modified as well. If we check on Task Manager, we see we can open it up again. And just taking a brief glance, I know we already had Process Explorer open, but I'm not seeing any crazy process names right now in memory, so that is a good sign. And if we go to our startup and we see what is running when the computer boots up, we still, we still have a couple, but I mean, we can just disable them, so it's not that big of a deal. And then Norton Power Racer found a couple processes, it appears, a couple startup items right here. It labels the status as bad, and it recommends we remove all these files, except for it appears something in the registry has been modified and suggesting that we repair it. So overall, I think Malwarebytes definitely did a better job than Super Anti-Spyware. However, that's not to say that you shouldn't run both when you're cleaning an infected computer. It really depends on the severity of the infection. However, from my personal experience, I would def definitely run Malwarebytes first and then Super Anti-Spyware. Because as you saw in this review, Malwarebytes did miss some files, but it really helped clean the system. So now we are in a much better position to run more scanners. And if we were really in a jam, we could run a bootable anti-malware boot CD or rescue CD, whatever you want to call it. But overall, I mean, I'm, I don't expect a product to clean every single file that's malicious on the computer. And just by default settings, I think Malwarebytes scanned did a pretty good job. 
Um, and like I said before, I might be testing their professional version sometime soon. So don't be shocked if you see that come out. And you know what? I might even test Pitman Pro's Kickstart one of these days. So I think that'll be about it for this review. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later.